Hi guys, it's me Jimmy at GeekC gets 8 terabyte or 8000 GB hard drive view. Most of you think basically the platter hard drive are that indeed not. You think all SSD are the future indeed not indeed. Basically, still we are going to use a platter hard drive for next 100 years. Do not argue with me. Basically, after one year we are going to have a z z what is called zettabyte. Basically, I think it's 100 or 1000 billion. Basically, terabyte is really so big, high number. I really, really couldn't calculate in my mind. Basically, basically today I'm just going to give you my rent review on the C get a terabyte. Basically, harder. Basically, you will think what's the what is the big deal? The big deal is that it's single one a terabyte. It's not four terabyte, four terabyte put in a rate configuration. Basically, rate zero is that. Basically, nowadays, for example, if you really wanna install, for example, for a video creator, for a video editor, sometimes the files can up go up to basically one terabyte, two terabyte. So what they most of the time do, basically they get a two or three terabyte and they, they put in a rate zero configuration. What is rate? Basically, rate stands for redundant array of independent expensive disks, or you can say. Even some people call it uh, 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 what a redundant array of inexpensive dicks. Basically, you call it inexpensive or independent. I really do not care. Basically, it's red. Basically, the best thing of this eight terabyte hard drive is the price. For only two hundred sixty bucks, is costing basically seven thousand two hundred RPM. RPM basically stands for round per minute. And then there's another good thing about this hard drive. It have double the carry, 128 megabyte. Basically, one of the faster memory is in the world is cache memory. That's why we have very little cache on the CPU. How much you cache have? We have only 6 MB cache or 8 MB or something, even 2 MB cache because cache is so freaking expensive. We really could not put a lot. So, in the hardware to make it the hardware faster, maximum cache we always have 64 megabyte on the large capacity hardware. But this C get 8 terabyte have 128 megabytes so it means the information it really need to i mean process to the cpu or to the ram it can store in the cache in 128 cache basically it's, it's really awesome basically another good thing about this hard drive is, is it have a really good read and write speed the read speed of this hard drive is basically 190 megabytes per second i mean basically it's a good hard drive so in a summary basically it's 8 terabyte hard drive from Seagate it only costs you 260 bucks plus I mean the best thing is it's a 128 megabyte cache which is double than the regular 64 megabyte cache and then it has a 7.5 watt is the power supply it needs basically you can put 4 hard drive in your Dexter computer not to worry about that the, your power supply I mean is going to overrun the power which is for the power which is required to run your PC basically you can just throw even in a 200 300 uh, watt power supply with no problem basically I will recommend this hard drive basically if you are building a new computer I mean the the price per ratio is really good 260 dollar for 8 terabyte is also you just need a one hard drive I mean massive big 8 terabyte hard drive really awesome I would strongly recommend this one basically the future of storage is still in the Letter harder rather than the SSD. I'm waiting for a day when you will get a 8 terabyte SSD. It is gonna cost you at least, at least, at least 5,000 bucks. So that's all. Subscribe to my channel. It's me, Jimmy. Okay.